Welcome to Music Theory. This is Grade 2, Week 9. This week we'll be dealing with transposition. Transposing to an octave higher or lower, also transposing to different clefs. Let's begin. Transposition. It is a technique used to lower or raise notes. So transposition is a technique used to lower or raise notes into a desired register so whenever you want to lower or raise notes we transpose them into a desired register in music sometimes a song can be too high or too low for an instrument to play or sing the song or notes are lowered or raised into a certain portable register to accommodate the instrument at this level, we will look at transposing to one octave higher or lower in the same clef. Also looking at transposing one octave higher or lower from bass to treble clef or vice versa. Transposing a passage or a song. Transposing with or without key signatures. Let's take a look at some rules for transposition. Copy everything into a different range. So whenever you transpose, basically you copy everything into a different range, including your notes, your key signatures, your time signatures, dynamics, musical terms and signs, and relevant rest. Do not alter with the note values, a rule that's very important to remember. Don't change the value of the note or the rest. Transpose note transpose note to note starting from the first note. So we transport the movement of transposition is to transpose from note to note starting from the first note. When transposing into a different clef, remember to put the clef sign at the beginning of the staff. Remember to put the new clef sign at the beginning of the staff. Count intervals and if transposing to a different octave, count eight times up or down to place your notes or chords. So count your intervals, meaning the distance between your notes or chords. And if you are transposing into a different octave, count eight times to place your notes. Transposing one octave higher in the same clef. The below passage is in the key of C major. Everything has been transposed an octave higher. See how note stem position changes, but all notes and rests remain the same at a different register. So this is the given piece. You can see start on C, going to E, then A. It's been transposed an octave higher. So the below one here, it's been transposed. So the C, the middle C, was transposed an octave higher. Take a look at that. So it was somewhere here. Then it moved an octave higher. The E, which is the first line of the triple clef, an octave higher, took the space. Also the A, the first or the second space in the treble clef when transposed an octave higher it takes the a above the treble clef on the ledger line d just below the first line of the treble clef when transposing it higher it's somewhere here when moving higher an octave it will just be on the second last line of the treble clef so Remember, you transpose note to note, note to note, and include all the musical terms and signs, including the rest. The rest here was also included here. You see, transposing an octave higher. Let's look at transposing an octave lower. The following passage is in the key of G major. Everything has been transposed an octave high, an octave lower. Uh, see how notes stem position changes, but all notes and accidentals remain the same except the register or the pitch changes.
So this has been transposed an octave lower. It starts on C. This is the given melody or the given passage up here and the bottom is the transposed one. Transpose to one octave lower. C, it's been transposed lower by an octave, putting it on the middle C. And the B here will just sit uh, slightly below, uh, uh, a, a semitone below the middle C. Then the E, this E will come on the first line of the treble clef when transposed lower, an octave lower. And also the A here above the treble clef will become the A on the second line of the treble clef. Check here the accidentals, the relevant accidentals have been transposed also as well with the notes. Also the rest is transposed. There's another accidental here the, on the F sharp, which is brought on this F sharp an octave lower. This can be notated in the in the bass clef, but since we are transposing an octave lower, we are not transposing from one clef to the next, but from one octave to the lower octave. So it's going to sit still on the treble clef, but we use ledger lines to notate the F sharp. Also here, the rest also been included on the score. That's how you transpose to one octave lower. Transposing to a different clef now. When transposing to a different clef, it is important to keep the same register of notes. Keep the same register of notes when transposing to a different clef. Use the middle C to determine how far the notes need to lie in the clef we're transposing to. So we use the C to determine the position of the notes in the clef that we are transposing to. For example, transposing the F in the treble clef above the middle C to the bass clef, the F must also sit above the middle C in the bass clef since it was above the middle C on the treble clef. Remember the middle C does not change. It's the same note on the treble clef and also on the bass clef. So the same F that's above the middle C in the treble clef needs to sit on the middle C above the middle C in the bass clef. Let's take a look at examples below. There is the F minim. Okay, it's been transposed to a bass clef. First thing first, you transpose the clef. Since you are transposing from treble to bass, you're going to draw your bass clef sign like I did here. There's my bass clef sign. Then the common time, also transpose it. Put the common time signature next to my bass clef. Now I'm in the new clef. Then we start with the first note. Since the first note is F and it's the F above the middle C, which should be somewhere here, then it's also going to be above my middle C. Hence, it's this F, but not the F on the staff. So use your middle C as your guiding point as to where the notes should fall on the new clef. The following passage is in the key of G major without key signature. It is transposed to a different clef following the transposition rules mentioned on your previous page. So the following passage is in the key of G major, even though it doesn't start on G, but it's been transposed into a different clef. The first note is the middle C. Since the middle C's are the same, we'll keep the same middle C also in the bass clef. The clef has been changed to a bass clef, transposing this as well the time signatures now the b it's below the middle c and it must also be below the middle c in the bass clef as you can see it's below the middle c bass clef then the e is above the middle c that's why it's placed above the middle c as well on the bass clef then the a above the middle c it's also above the middle c hence we use ledger lines then the D 
still above the middle C, accidentals are also transpose rest as well. That's how you transpose into a different curve. We use our middle C to determine the position of the nodes on the new transposed clef or in the clef that we are transposing to. Transposing with key signatures. The following passage has a key signature at the beginning. There is no need to put accidentals before nodes. So when transposing uh, 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 with key signatures, there is no need to put accidentals before nodes. So let's take a look at the example below. The previous example had no key signatures at the beginning. Hence, have, uh, uh, accidentals are placed before nodes also here as well. But now we are transposing with key signature. So keys, a key signature has been provided. So there is no need to put accidentals before nodes. Transposing without a key signature. Transposing without a key signature, one has to put accidentals before nodes. So if I'm transposing this, then I must put it just put accidentals, transpose with accidentals, basically, since there is no key signature. 